I'm here at the Nepali Coast State Park on the beautiful island of Kauai. One of the best ways to see the Nepali Coast is by boat. today courtesy of our friends at Nepali Explorer. I'm at Nua Lolokai Beach. It's an area so remote you can only get there by boat or lengthy hike. but it's worth the trip. Kilauea Point is where you'll find the Kilauea Lighthouse. The point is one of Kauai's most visited scenic wonders, offering more than 500,000 visitors a year a chance to view one of the nation's intact historic lighthouses. In 1979, the lighthouse was listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Kilauea Point is also home to the Kilauea National Wildlife Refuge. The refuge is home to numerous species of migratory, sea, and native Hawaiian birds. Each year, thousands of birds use steep cliffs at Kilauea for feeding, nesting, and mating. Nurtured by trade winds and abundant rainfall, the north shore of Kauai is as lush and green as the Garden Island gets. Kauai is home to more sandy beaches than any other major island in the Hawaiian chain. The beaches make up almost half of its shoreline. I'm here at Haena Beach Park on the beautiful island of Kauai. It's a great place to swim, snorkel, or explore the nearby sea caves.
Hanalei Bay consists of nearly two miles of beach. From the Hanalei Overlook, you'll see taro growing in the valley below. Taro was a staple of the native Hawaiian diet. Today, Kauai is the leader in taro production, responsible for nearly 75% of the state's output. Wailua River State Park lies on over 1,000 acres leading up to Mount Waialeale. The Wailua River, the only navigable river in the state, runs through it. Visitors can kayak, water ski, or take riverboat tours. The remains of three Hawaiian temples, called heiaus, can be found in the park. <laughs> 